Hey guys, welcome to my video. For today's tutorial, I will be teaching you how to make the crochet peephole chevron stitch. To begin, all you're going to need is some yarn and a crochet hook. For this tutorial, you will need to know how to make chains and how to make the double crochet stitch. I have videos on both of those and I will have them listed down below. I am going to start making the stitch from the very beginning, making chains. Later on, I will bring in my swatch to show you the next row. It's just going to be one row repeating for however long you want your project after this first initial row into the chains. So if you're starting from the very beginning making chains, you're going to make chains in the multiple of 10 plus 2. I have made 32 chains on my hook. Into the third chain from your hook, you're going to make one double crochet. You're then going to make one double crochet into the next three chains. So one, two, and a three. You're going to skip two chains. You're going to work one double crochet into the next four after that. So one, two, three, and four. You're then going to make two chains, one, two, then one double crochet into the next four chains, one, two, three, and four. So you can see we have a valley with these two chains that we skipped, and then we have a peak with these two chains that we made. We're now going to continue this by making our next valley. We're going to skip two chains, then you're going to work one double crochet into the next four chains. So one, two, three, and four. Making our next peak, we're going to make two chains, one, two, then four double crochet into the next four chains, so one, two, three, and four. We're going to make our next valley. We're going to skip two chains. We're going to work four double crochet into the next four chains. So one, two, three, and four. So that's how that row is looking. You can see that we have our valleys and our peaks made. I'm now going to bring in my swatch so you can see how the stitch is going to look and I'm going to show you that next row that you're going to repeat for however long you want your project. Here is my swatch and I have attached my new color. To start this row I have made three chains on my hook. Into the very first stitch you're going to make two double crochet. Then you're going to make two double crochet into the next two stitches. We've come to a valley, so you're going to skip these two stitches. You're going to work a double crochet into the next three. So skipping these two right here, I'm going to work one here, one, two, and three. We've come to a peak. Into the peak you're going to work one double crochet, make two chains, then you're going to work another double crochet into that same space. You're then going to work a double crochet into the next three stitches. So one, two, and three. We've come to another valley. So you're going to skip over two stitches. You're going to work a double crochet into the next three. One, two, 
three. We've come to another peak. You're going to make a double crochet into that peak space make two chains, then work a double crochet into that same space. Work one double crochet into the next three stitches. So one, two, and three. We've come to another valley. You're going to skip two stitches. You're going to work one double crochet into the next one double crochet into the next then into the last stitch of your row you're going to work two double crochet into that same stitch so that's how that row is looking like i said earlier you will just repeat this row for however long you want your project and that is going to be how to make the peephole chevron stitch Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more from me. You can follow me on all social media at Crochet Me Lovely, all one word. Please leave me any feedback down below for future videos and tutorials that you would like to see. Thank you guys so much for being here and have a great day.